Good evening. The number of vacant homes is on the rise, and that's keeping prices and property values low. The solution? Unload a lot of properties at bargain basement prices. King 5's Meg Coyle is live in Bellevue, where the third home auction this year is just getting underway. Meg. That's right, Dennis. The vacancy rate in western Washington is now at 9%. So just about one out of every homes in our area is vacant. And by vacant, we mean nobody's renting it, no one's buying it, no one's really actively selling it. And that puts a lot of downward pressure on overall home prices and property values. So the solution is to try to unload some of that excess inventory at auctions like the one here tonight. Well, I've looked at it. Uh, it's been about a year. Every day, Donnie Williams drives by his dream home. We just fell in love with this house. This home is, is a, a wonderful home. And he may just get it for a dream price. It's an auction. <gasps> they are not back up. <laughs> this three bedroom house in Bellevue, once valued at $510,000, bidding tonight opens at $179,000, a price that's right for Donnie, a foster father of three with a baby on the way. We know everyone's going to. Bid higher, but you know, you only wish and dream and hope the best. This Renton Rambler is also among the 80 up for auction, once valued at 296000 starting bid just 39000 about the price of a nice car. And the bargain basement deals likely to keep on coming. Homes that were owner occupied, that are not for rent, they're just sitting there in limbo. They're vacant. More and more of those are becoming vacant. Appraiser Richard Hager says the goal of these auctions is simple. Drive down the supply of homes to eventually drive up the price. People are buying those properties. They are selling. And it's getting that vacant inventory out of our hair. It has a view of the, the trees, and I love that. I love it. Donnie Williams knows this home will likely go for more than he can afford, but this foster dad dares to dream for his family's future. It made me tear up a little bit because I was like, wow, this would be wonderful. I'm like, oh. Well, we are told that as low as some of those opening bids are, oftentimes these bidders will get a little carried away and the homes end up selling for over what they are valued at. So. 39,000 may be a starting, but it, it could also go a lot higher than its projected value. Reporting live here in Bellevue, Meg Coyle, King 5 News. Thank you, Meg.